Hi guys, so um, I've spent today, this morning at least, uh, giving the garage a damn good tidy up and clean up so the car can go in and there's no rubbish all over the place and it's a nice clean environment to work in because obviously um, to rebuild an engine you want minimal dirt, you want it as, as, as clinically, forensically clean as you can possibly manage to get it. So I um, spent the morning basically making it as clean tight as I possibly can to prepare it the best I can. So I've made it so that the car can go as far over on the passenger side as possible, giving me loads of space on the driver's side and as much space at the back as possible. Because the idea is, um, jack the back end right up in the air and there should be enough room to remove the engine by dropping it out the bottom, theoretically. <coughs> Sorry. So, um... I've done that and um, hopefully um, it's got to finish a few, put a few bits in, the, in its place and then um, I can start getting up in the air and um, I can start taking some photos and putting it to pieces. So I'll um, try and update best I can. It'll obviously be evenings and weekends as it was last year. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm hoping... Um, Probably maybe one night this week I might be able to pull the engine out because obviously I can normally have all the ancillaries off within an hour. So, but um, it's all going to be obviously all coming out. So we're very very bare. So you you will have probably noticed the fact of um, the amount of stuff in the engine bay compared to, compared to the day it arrived, which is quite a considerable difference, given the fact of the amount of stuff that's been fitted to it for it all to work nicely. So. Um, get it all out I've managed to empty quite a few plastic boxes so um, and one of them's actually I think big enough to put engine block in so um, that might work quite well when it comes to soaking the block to um, just clean it out really thoroughly I reckon so um, yeah yeah I'll try and um, so I'll try and give you updates best I can and um, in the meantime um, have um, drive safely all that stuff and um maybe if you do projects of yourself be nice to see that because um a part part of this blog is about showing people how to repair things yourself at home so if i can inspire some people to do it like i do it and and if i could see that it'd be pretty darn cool so um yeah i'll um so try and keep you in in the loop and um till then um See ya.